Hey, good evening, YouTube. Hey, I learned a valuable lesson today. Do not go shopping for used bicycle parts for your friend's bike. Uh, I learned a valuable lesson today because you might just end up buying a bicycle yourself, a used bike. But uh, hey, if you're into it and you want to see what I picked up, stick around and let's check it out together. So it's uh it is an interesting interesting design. I think it's a oh what is it? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 27 speed. It's got uh really nice uh grouping actually. LX derailleurs, brakes, uh hubs. Uh, the tires are a little checked here. Looks like it's missing Looks like it had a rack or something on here. It's missing. The seat's in really nice shape. Let me back out here a little bit. It's actually in really good shape. Um, as you can see, you steer underneath underneath your seat here. You've got a suspension. There you go. Looks like the fender's busted off here a little bit. That'll need some repair. You got three, three chain rings in the front here. Let's see, Shimano 105 group. Front tire actually looks pretty good. Kevlar belt, that actually uh, looked pretty good, but this back tire, I think that's gonna have to be replaced. It's already got some herringbone on the side there. But uh, in all, uh, the chain, comes up through here it crisscrosses goes over they call this an over and under wheel it's actually a skateboard wheel uh, from the factory uh, this is a hand-built bicycle uh, from Santa Rosa California and this is a, a bike or a skateboard wheel that they modify on a I don't know on a lathe or something like that but that just keeps the chatter of the chain down so uh, without further ado, it's going to be the inaugural ride. Well, this is a very challenging ride, but it's really, really comfortable. Um, I already, it's not shifting in the back very well, and it's a very rigid ride, even though it has that shock. You can actually hear it in my uh, voice, the warble, the road noise. Very challenging. I'm really getting the hang of it now. It's actually a really good ride. Oh, here comes the car, hold on. One of the things I noticed, very, very direct. There is no loss of efficiency on this bike. I mean, every ounce of effort you give the bike, it goes. I think I'm gonna like it. You can hear the brake pad kind of rubbing in the back. I'll get that adjusted and put new pads on it, but there's just a fun, unobstructed view. There's nothing in front of you. It's probably not gonna be fun in the wind. So this would be a good early morning trail bike. I'm starting to fall in love with it. I mean, the efficiency is incredible. You see that steer tube, see on top of the fork crown down there? That's where all the steering is happening. Climbing hills isn't too bad. This isn't much of a hill, but I can see where it'd be equal or the same as my other bike. All right, well, there you have it. First test. I'm gonna give it 
I'm going to give it a 7 because of the turn radius. The turn radius is supposed to be fast, but uh, if you notice here, you have to be extremely careful. See the distance between here? So like if your heel is hanging off the pedal here and, the, and you're turning sharp into this, you got to be real careful with that. So that's a that's definitely a red flag for me because of the size of my feet, size 16. Um, uh, I'm not worried about the brakes or anything. That'll all, the rear cog is uh, shifting a little sticky. But from fun, uh, unobstructed view, very light uh, recumbent, I'll give that like a nine, absolutely. But uh, I still, my, my, uh, my, uh, uh, easy tour. That's the. I mean, that's that's the best bike. So there's. I don't think there's any way. I don't know. I could fall in love with this. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for uh, checking it out and coming along for the ride. And we'll see you around.